So apparently, Precious now thinks she's a parrot. She's been sitting on my shoulder for the last two hours we've been driving. Well, not on my shoulder, literally, but you know, right up beside me. Now is my time to shine. Let's go. We've been on this road for wheels like ever. Perfect, and now it turns into loose gravel. Fabulous. Well, we've arrived where I was headed, which is a Crown Land site, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the RV even halfway in. So let's take a walk outside and see exactly what I'm dealing with. Well, I walk down and this is what it looks like down here. It's just, I really don't know if I can get down that road if you want to call it a road and then this goes way it doesn't look very steep on camera but it goes way up there and then there's someone built a little hunting cabin right there i don't know let's see if we can fit ta-da so we made it to another crown land site which is around the corner from that one that i was just at you can see there's another car back there i don't know i think he's hiking or something because there's no one in the car but uh Lots of room here. Although I don't know if I'm gonna stay because the road runs right up here. And as you're about to hear, a car or a truck go by. So, I don't know. Crash? Precious is hitchhiking her way back. I don't know if she likes it. Come on. Yeah, here she comes. So I don't know if we're going to stay here. I think I'm going to check. There's a few more spots or potential spots around the corner. So, oh, and the bugs are terrible here. But to be expected, I guess. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to try around the corner. And then if that's no good, I will come back here. If I do end up coming back to this one, I think what I'm going to do is spin the RV around. And... So my door opens over there because I'll take you over there. There's some room over here that we could, uh, here. Lots of room over there. So what I'm thinking is I could turn the RV around and then my front door would basically open up to this instead of facing the, uh, I want to say dirt road, but it's more like sand. But, uh, yeah, so let's go around the corner and see if we can find something better. If not, we'll come back here. Okay, something tells me this spot's not going to work. Although it is a little bit wider. It's pretty up here, though. It's like all granite rock everywhere. So, we won't be getting stuck in the mud. That's good. Oh, but the flies are terrible. Oh my god, I left the door open while I went to go out there and look, and now there is 5,000 deer flies in here. Oh god. This is the smartest decision I've ever made. <laughs> it just looks so pretty back here. I wanted to see what's back here and I couldn't walk it because the deer flies are tearing me up. Oh, maybe it goes right out the other side. I bet you I'm the only person that has ever taken a class A RV through here. <laughs> So as I said earlier, the ground here is like mostly granite. There's the RV over there. I'd probably take this RV places that, uh, well, I probably shouldn't, but uh, so far so good. So I'm debating moving the RV <laughs> if I can drive up this rock and maybe park somewhere around where I'm standing and then I can use that fire pit down there, but Oh boy, I don't know. I highly doubt it's going to be level, first of all. And second of all, yeah, I don't know. But maybe we'll try. 
It is hot here too. It is hot today. It's 38 degrees Celsius, which for my American friends, that's 101. So it's, uh, it's not cute. It's hot and um, yeah, we're standing on a giant piece of granite. So I don't know. See, the rock's got big gigantic dips in it like that. And it's actually a lot steeper than it's looking on film. So I don't know if this is a great idea, but it is pretty. There's nothing out here. There's another little site over here that's got a nice fireplace, but again, <laughs> gigantic rocks and I highly doubt it's going to be level but it is pretty with the rock fireplace and they even made like there it is a bench out of rocks but I don't know precious leave that chipmunk alone precious doing what she does That's the road that I came in on. That's why I was saying that I take this RV places I probably shouldn't. These I think are more like paths for quads and stuff like that. But uh, if anybody asks, we're just making them a little wider. That's all. Big north. Third time's a charm. Took me a little over an hour to get here, but I'm happy to say there's no bugs. It's a little bit cooler and it's beautiful. So here we are. I left Precious in the RV because she keeps trying to drag me off this dock. And again, I don't do lakes, but look at the scenery around here. It's beautiful. I think it's called Eels Lake. I'm not sure if it's a crown land spot or not. I actually found this spot. The RV's over, yep, right there. Um, on iOverlander. Now it has mixed reviews. Some people say you can camp overnight. Some people say you can't. I haven't seen any signs. And if I do, I'll probably ignore it and uh, hope for the best because it is beautiful. Well, there it is. So no overnight camping, but we didn't see that. So keep on walking <laughs> because I've had enough driving for today. I've already put in, I don't know, probably three hours or so, and it is hot. There's cars here, but as you can see, they're probably out on their boats and then they will uh, be gone. All right, guys, well, I did catch a fish, so that's a big bonus, but I was just also informed by a nice couple that lives locally that the OPP does enforce this no camping rule here. So, looks like we're moving on again. Hopefully spot number four. Oh we're back on gravel road. So, here we go. Okay, guys. Well, we made it to, what is the spot number four, I guess, for today. But um, we got lucky. We're the only ones here, and it is beautiful. The lake is super calm. Crash, do you like it here? She's happy. And someone left us a fire pit, already full of wood. So uh, we'll be having a fire. And in a few minutes, when I finish getting set up, I will uh, see if my luck continues with catching fish. So, to be continued. All right, guys. Got the fire going. I had a shower. So, uh, feeling nice and fresh, feeling human again. And uh, now all that's left is to sit back and take it all in. So I don't know if I'm going to stay at this place one day, two days, a week. You never know with me. But uh, 
hopefully, maybe we might get a, uh, a bit of a sunset. It's a little bit cloudy tonight, so you can see a little bit of it over there, Oop, right there. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, be sure to subscribe for more. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.